A couple days ago, my two friends came over to hang out at my place for a lazy Saturday. It was just me, John, and Charles, having fun, talking a lot of trash, and coming up with stupid ideas for future pranks. Eventually, after a couple of hours of talking trash about our classmates, we eventually got bored and decided that we needed to do something outside because the weather today was really nice and we didn't want it to go to waste. Normally, we don't discuss horror stories and urban legends, but my friend Charles briefly mentioned a tunnel near our neighborhood that was rumored to be haunted. John, being the crazy one of our group, quickly recommended that we go check out this tunnel right now since it would be too scary to go during the night. Charles and I looked at each other for like 5 seconds and reluctantly agreed since we are exploring it in broad daylight and we can brag about it to our classmates Monday morning at school. We all quickly agreed to go, grabbed our backpacks, and set off to find this tunnel. At around 3 p.m., we finally found the tunnel, and by the looks of it, it was completely dark and abandoned, that even in broad daylight, we literally could not see a single thing inside this tunnel. It was completely creepy, and gave me and Charles the shivers, but for John, however, he saw this as an amazing opportunity for us to conquer our fears and relieve our boredom. Again, John being the crazy one from our group, quickly came up with a stupid idea for us to go through this tunnel together. Charles irritated out of his mind, yelled out, Are you nuts? We don't even know what lies beyond this tunnel. We could possibly get killed. John, also being a great persuader, responded to Charles, Just think about it. From our research, this tunnel is approximately only 100 feet in length, and we'll be out of it in nearly seconds. And think about the bragging rights we can have at school. The girls will be all over us, and we'll be the coolest kids on the block. Really consider this, Charles. We'll be legends. Charles eventually calmed down after a couple seconds of thinking, and we all enter slowly into the tunnel. We enter the tunnel and within seconds, we could not see anything. And by anything, we literally could not see a single damn thing. It was completely dark. I quickly told John and Charles to come close to me and hold on to my hands so we don't get lost and walk through this tunnel together in a line. So I laid out both my arms out and once I quickly felt my left and right hands being firmly held, we moved on forward to the tunnel. The light at the end of the tunnel was getting brighter and brighter, so I eventually let go both of John and Charles' hands and ran towards the light. John, Charles, and I safely made it through the tunnel and we were all pumped up with excitement. And surprisingly, at the same time, we all yelled out, I'm so glad that I was in the middle. With utter confusion, I asked, what? I just want to say thank you to everyone who have watched this video. If you can, it would be greatly appreciated if you can smash the like button on this video and share it to others. But most importantly, please subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the near future. Also, Please feel free to tell me in the comment section below on which video I should do next. This is Mr. Shinraman. Till next time, stay safe and stay scared.